Hello, welcome to Spy Money. I want to show you the options bot. Uh, the NQ40 Spy Money bar does it again with the options bot. It, I turned it on right at the open. And the first trade at 934 it took and made uh, the first target. And then it entered another trade here and took forever. This entered at 1038 and it never took profit until 1138. One hour this bot was in the trade. This was a lot of range in this area, but the bot weathered it out and it took profit. And um, I believe we're just gonna shut this off for today because we are above our 50% goal. Uh, 791.64, at one time it was my target. I mean, look at this right here. It was so close to hitting this. So it was only, see what, 111 and it took, so it was one one point away from hitting the target there. And it started pulling back. Um, I wasn't watching it at the time. I was letting it run. I was, I actually was here at the monitor, but I wasn't watching this. And then all of a sudden it started pulling back and I thought, oh man, I could have closed this out manually and took it, but I didn't. Uh, fully automated, completely untouched and these settings are in a template that is supplied so if you lease the options bot the well the ninja suite and you turn the options bot on all you have to do is load the time frame of 40 spy money bar and then uh, load the template of the 40 spy money bar and then just let it go um, I like this one best at the open it does a really good job because you have a pretty decent volume with it and but again this is 100 percent automated uh, you don't touch it uh, i do recommend that you have the levels on and kind of watch those to be able to control a little bit better but i leave these running uh, automated uh, fully untouched uh, for youtube I, I don't touch them so i want you all to know that you don't really have to know a lot about it it's best the more you learn about the option spot and the levels and so forth but as you can see, the options bot does a really good job. Options bot started, um, I used the indicator to trade options in the TD Ameritrade. And I ended up making it to where it would work on futures as well. And it does a really good job. So, you know, green is long, red is short, and with different parameters and stuff. But again, this is 100% fully automated. So how do you get started with this? Well, you go up here to spymoneyllc.com. You go down to the Ninja Suite, this tab right up here. Click on that. There is one small step you got to do. There's a video here to explain it. But you just click right here, left click, and then copy all of this. And you go up to the Contact Us. Click on it. And you come down to your message and you paste it. Now, once you do this and you have your name and email and everything, that tells me that you read that and fully understand that bots are not set it and leave it bots. I say it right here. They are not set it and leave it. You need to monitor your bots, be there with it. Now, if you're working on your computer doing something else, that's fine as long as you can monitor it. So just turn your volume up to where you can hear it enter a trade and then you just kind of manage it from there. If you do that, you end up making more money usually, uh, but the bot will do everything. But there are glitches in the internet and Ninja Trader and different things, so you don't want to turn this on and just let it run. Uh, it's a bad idea. So if you if you plan on leasing a bot so you can turn it on and go to work and come back and be rich, that's not the way it's going to work. It don't work that way. Uh, some days it will. You know, actually most days it usually will have a, a lot of money at the end of the day, but you know, things happen. Uh, your internet go down, your computer, you just, anything can happen. So you don't want to do that. But you uh, agree to all that and then I'll send you a link in order for you to join. And then the funded accounts, they do work on funded accounts. I run the options bot today um, on some different settings. Now I helped it a little bit and I ended up doing $1,165 across five accounts. So it's, um, what, $5,800 or so across, uh, yeah, it's $1,165 each account of five. So I actually run that. So you can run this 
click on one of these three here. Apex is usually what most people use, the rhythmic connection. I don't like the trade of eight connection because it's too hard to get out of the trades. Rhythmic is actually much easier. And the blue sky actually gives you a live trading account once you pass. And Take Profit Trader, um, I've heard not, you know, nothing but good out of it too. They use Trade Abate, but the problem is if you have to get out of a trade, you have to go into each account on Trade Abate to get out. So um, I probably lean more to the Apex because of the rhythmic. It just seems to work better um, from, from what I've seen anyway. Uh, U-Profit's another one that you can use. I don't really have many people use that one. Most people use either Take Profit or Apex. Uh, the majority are Apex, the majority of the people. There's some discount coupons in here. Use them, you'll get the best discount that you can get. And also, uh, we have um, a third party that we work with for VPS. Click on this, and uh, the medium is what I recommend. It does a really good job. So if you've got something, maybe you want to trade on it, and you've got a computer at work, you've got a computer at home, and you're wanting to monitor it, the VPS works really well because you can access it from anywhere. So it does a real good job, but uh, as far as the Ninja Suite, I'm going to show you one more thing here. Uh, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, we have a lot of different trading bots, and these change because, you know, if we make something that works better or find something better than, you know, we add one or delete one that's not working that great. Uh, it's trial and error. The options bot is probably the number, what is the number one bot everybody uses. We have a lot of different indicators, uh, more that are not listed here. Add-ons, drawing tools, um, we've got the trade copier toolbar. Uh, there's a lot of different drawing tools. Here's a lot of questions that people ask me. Uh, here's the answers. Please read through these before you send me a, a message because you will probably find your answer there. You probably will. So um, I'm going to show you something else here at the end. And let me get it set up here because I wasn't planning on it, but I'm going to show you. Um, here we go. So make sure everything's good. Yeah. So this is our um, chart trader. And it is a work in progress. I keep adding stuff to it. I've got several things coming this week, but a lot of people use the Ninja Trader chart trader, and it's really kind of hard to use. Uh, for one thing, like your bracket order. If you wanted to do a bracket order here, you know, you'd have to go through about seven steps to make one with Ninja Trader. Here, you can just go ahead and actually let's see, turn this over to 20. Uh, you can just click here and it will be your bracket order. I've got this on SIM up here. Uh, but, you know, you can take and um, um, move your brackets around where you want them and do as you please with them. So it actually helps you out. Uh, so if it goes up here and hits this one, it'll take long and it closes this one out. They're OCO orders. Um, so they, uh, they do pretty good job. And it's a lot easier to put a bracket order in on my system than it is the Ninja Trader system. So if this is coming down and hits this, then it will take it and it will automatically put in your, um, of course that's a, a low stop and stuff. I had this on ES uh, trading earlier. But it will come down, hit it, and um, cancel the other one out. That's a good job. Another thing we do is limit order. So limit order, it turns green around the back so it lets you know what's going on. But if you just want to enter the trade here long, if this comes up and hits that, then when this comes up and hits it, it'll automatically put your ATMs in. There it is. And then once this is in, you can move these around in one click. So you don't have to grab the flag and then move it. You can just click where you want. Uh, you do it real fast. It works real well. And if you don't want that, you can turn it off, and then you can grab the flag and move it. So if you just want to grab the flag and do it, you can do that as well. So it's real easy. Uh, most people like to leave this on because it's just so much easier to come up here and click where you want. So if you've got a level up here, you want to put that on there, and you want to maybe put this there or just right below this wick right here yeah that's the ideal place to put this was not a proper entry of course but it'll also do like uh, limits um, uh, on the short so if you want to say come down here if it hits if it breaks this bar 
then it will hit it and then it will enter the short. Now this red tells you that you're you know, trying to do short here. So it gives you that fair warning. If you change your mind, just close it out and it goes away. So the bracket orders, the limit orders is real good. Uh, and if you want, like these, um, if you put a limit order, say right here, well, if you've got this move limit turned on, then wherever you click, it will automatically move it. So you don't have to grab the flag and move it. So if you want to bring it here and then you change your mind, you can do it one click. It's just much easier. Or you can turn it off and then just grab the flags and do it that way. Um, I like the one click. It's just much easier. We're scalpers. So anything that we do, we need to do fast. And if you have to click twice to make something happen, then that's you know hesitation that you don't need. Uh, we also have, um, like say, <clears throat> uh, stealth mode. So let's say you want to do 10 contracts and you don't want the market makers to know you entered 10 contracts. So what you can do is put in 10 and you can put multiples of three. And if you want the buy order, you just go ahead and click buy and it will enter 10 separate orders. Now I'm going to move this way down so we can see. But if I turn that sync off, you'll see that there are more orders here. There's going to be 10 orders or 10 contracts total. So you got three, 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 and then whatever's left over will be the 10th. So if you had this for 11 over here, then this one will be a two. And if you want, you can move these individually you know, to where you want to put them, or you can turn your sync on and it will move all 10 uh, or all four orders at the same time. And the same thing goes with up here. Now, another thing we added was to add the price. So now we can see that, you know, how much we're going to lose if we hit or stop, it'll be $162 right there. And, you know, to make money, you can put this up here. If you wanted to go ahead and turn these off and then move these individually, then each one of those would have how much money you would make if all three of these hit and then three there and one and so forth. So it actually works pretty good as far as if it goes up and hits, then that's how much money you're going to be making. Uh, again, we can just change that. We can move these. I'm a one in or out. Uh, I don't really do, you know, the multiple targets. I would rather just go ahead and go up and, and uh, take care of it. Another thing you can do is if you want to move your stop, so say you want to move your stop 10 ticks from there. So you can hit this and it will automatically move it. Now, if your price changes, you hit it again and it will be 10 ticks from wherever the price is. So it just makes it a lot easier. So as it's going up, instead of trying to grab your stop and move or whatever, you can just hit move stop and it will automatically move it to where you want. Uh, there's some different things that we've added and I've got more stuff coming to it. Uh, it's a very elaborate chart trader. There's one person that said, uh, Friday that he made more money last week using this chart trader than what he ever made using the ninja trader chart trader because he's a scalper so he needs to move quick and he's never made as much money in a week than what he had last week and it was all due to this chart trader uh, according to him his words not mine he said that the chart trader itself is worth the lease of the ninja suite alone just to have the chart trader and I agree with him in the sense that it's very elaborate the way you, you know if you're a scalper this is the ideal chart trader I, I don't know of one that's even close to it but it does a really good job I have more stuff that I'm going to add this week and that's already in the programming stages so we'll be releasing more things on it but this is something that is um you know, just revolutionary in my opinion. It does a really good job. But if you have any questions, like I said, just uh, contact me on the um, website and then, you know, we can go ahead and get you signed up and such. Uh, again, you have to follow the, um, the steps in copying that and sending it to me. Uh, once you do that, I'll send you a link. You can get started. Uh, one thing I will mention, I didn't mention earlier, once you do this, uh, your machine ID is here. Your download files are here. There's uh, setup instructions. Newbies, if you're brand new to Ninja Trader and everything, there's instructions on how to do that. Uh, everything is in here, and it's not shown on mine, but down here is a Discord username. And you put in your username. They'll send you an email. You click on link, and boom, you're in the Discord. So it works really well. 
um, a lot of videos on here to train you how to do different things and it's just um, probably a little overwhelming at first so what I recommend is just go ahead and get the files uh, installed on your Ninja Trader get your machine ID restart Ninja Trader come back in and just come in here and you can right click the chart and add the option suite or the um, options uh, strategy with the levels and with the chart trader it's all built in so this chart that you're looking at uh, one just uh, import the template and it'll work this is what we real normally trade by is the 10 spot money bar we take quick scalps it uh, makes money uh, you know we're only looking at making 50 percent of your trade so if you're trading one NQ contract that's a thousand dollars so we're looking to make five hundred dollars and that's that's really all we're looking to make um, if you can get more than that, great, but if you can make 50% on your money every day, that is um, really good. Every $500 you make is about 100 grand a year if you do that consistently every trading day through the year. A little over 100, but still, uh, that's a lot of money. Most people don't make $100,000 a year. Most people are probably in the fifty dollars to $70,000 range. So if you can make $500 on one, you know, pretty much... Um, Usually uh, two to three trades you can make it and it's usually within about a half hour or so typically that you can do that. Having questions let me know. I'd be happy to get you started today and get you plugged in and start uh, making yourself a better trader. Have a great day.